It's been quite a while since I've done an update video on my 1973 Ford Bronco Ranger. I haven't done a whole lot, unfortunately. Life has been busy. The bodywork that this thing needs, it, I can't get in and out of it very quickly. I have to designate hours of time because of the setup of the equipment, how dirty it gets, the focus of getting things lined up, et cetera, et cetera. So unfortunately, I haven't done a whole lot. I have done some work on the inside and patched up a lot of panels. I've also got the firewall in a really good spot, all the channeling I've replaced. It's very, very solid at this point in time. Just needs a little bit of dedicated focus, which unfortunately I don't have. And that's kind of what led me to this video. So I've been pondering the idea of maybe not having this in my life right now, which kind of kills me because I very much want one of these. I search classic Broncos as any man should. And when I do that on Facebook, Marketplace will just randomly show ones to the top of my suggested feed. This was a Sunday. I wasn't thinking anything much of it. Opened up Marketplace looking for some stuff for the garage and this thing popped up. I conveniently had to put my 500 mile radius on before doing this. So that's why it popped up in my feed. Um, what, ha what you see here is a 1973 Ford Bronco Ranger the exact same year and trim that mine is, except this one is more original and looks better. I saw this post, it should just posted, which means it's only been posted for less than 10 minutes. I thought it was a scam. And so I went ahead and just shot the guy, my phone number, worst case, I'll get spam bot calls no more than I am currently. I didn't know how long it would last if it actually was a real deal. So I sent, hey, I'm interested, here's my phone number. I got a call back immediately and Turns out that this actually was a legitimate Bronco, so I thought. So, did FaceTime immediately, got to look at it. It was pretty much what the photos described. I got some more separate videos, and within an hour I had to make a decision on if this was gonna enter the Garage Topics family or not. Um, shout out to my wife who puts up with my crazy shenanigans. This doesn't make any sense to a normal human being, but to me, this makes sense because this is a Bronco that we can use now and slowly fix up over time versus having a massive burden over our heads which there's nothing wrong with this this will be an immaculate bronco when we're done the 73 but i don't think i'm wanting immaculate in my current stage of life i just want something to run and drive to make memories with so this thing i made the deal i wired the money and i nervously waited for a little bit less than a week hoping that this wasn't a scam and sure enough it was not a scam i got the transporter arranged and loaded up and I got it right before a business trip and so he is cutting to the, the situation right before I got it and right as I get it. All right the Bronco's at the top of the hill I believe so we're gonna go up there. I am under the weather otherwise I would have filmed a whole lot more of the intro but we'll cut to that some other time. 15-16 miles an hour I'm about to see if this thing is actually real or not. Wow. How you going? I cannot believe this. This thing is 100% real and it is factory but crusty just the way I like it. I am in love with this color. Obviously we're gonna look at it closer when we get it back in the garage, but holy cow. Got my scooter in the back, cause you know how we do, but man, what a gem. A week has passed since I took delivery of this Bronco. I went out of town for a work trip and it's still sinking in that this is mine. Some small things that I didn't think were the case when I bought it, but not, no deal breakers at all. This isn't actually the original paint. I kind of thought that because it was so shiny. It is the original color and cool things like the vinyl stripes on this. Whoever repainted it masked that off. So the vinyl stripes and the paint underneath it are original. So it's got that cool patina look, but the paint has a little bit of shine. Um, obviously there's some rust, but man, this thing is very, very solid for what it is. And let me show you around. Okay, so this thing is on a two and a half inch lift from Wild Horses, I believe. It has 31 inch tires and has the OEM wheels that are powder coated that Wimbledon white color that's factory matches the hardtop. It looks very, very good. This is exactly how I'd want to build a Bronco, an uncut lifted Bronco, a Luber, if you will. I may have to put a body lift on this about an inch if I want to do some things in the future. But for right now, I love how this looks. So if I can get away with not doing that, I will. But man, this color looks great. There is some rust down here, which we'll get to later, but the bones here are very good. Here's the quick walk around. So 73 Ranger, almost identically trimmed to this, except a different color. The only major difference is that this one doesn't have the chrome trim down the side where mine originally did, but it has all the chrome hardtop, chrome window, chrome windshield, you name it. 
and it's this limestone green metallic color. I didn't really think I'd like a metallic color on one of these Broncos, but man, is it great. I really, really enjoy this color. And what's even better is the interior. I could not believe that this was a factory interior. It doesn't look like it's ever been set in, but it has. There's some sli si the slight signs. Uh, only imperfection is right there from it folding up, but this thing, these seats are immaculate. Truth be told, I don't think I'm gonna hold onto these seats because I'm absolutely petrified I'm gonna mess them up with my kids getting in and out of here. So if you're interested in the seats, let me know, but otherwise I have no problem just holding onto them. But man, look at this thing. It is very, very cool. You see here that there's a floor liner on here. That's the unfortunate issue, which is okay for me at this time, stage in the game. The floorboards are completely gone. It's just metal sheet screwed in to the braces. And then you've got this vinyl floor with ins insulation on top of it. For right now, I'm okay with it, but this is gonna have to go soon. Maybe this winter, in terms of not having just sheet metal screwed in, but we'll take a look later. I, the, trying to keep this simple stupid and always keep this in operable condition, but my Atlanta, this thing is so cool. Even has the original headliner in it. Th that wood I don't think is factory, but it's got the whole original sun visors and windshield wiper box and headliner material. This thing is incredible. Even has the avocado dash. Has cracks in it to be expected, but not terrible at all. Under the hood is a 351. So someone swapped in a bigger engine combo to this. It would have come with a 302 from the factory. It did come with an automatic from the factory, which is still hooked up to this thing, but I'm not gonna complain about having a bigger engine. It's got a brand new ignition and uh, carburetor setup. It's got an Elderbrock, which my former life would have been very mad about. It's got an MSD coil on it. Um, overall, pretty good in here. It's got some small things we'll need to tend to, but nothing crazy. Very happy with this. And like you'll see here in a second, this thing actually runs and drives very well. This is a classic Bronco that has not been restored. They almost all have rust, and this one's no exception. This was from Detroit area, and I think it's been there its whole life, so it's got rust in weird places that other Broncos I've seen didn't. So let me show you them, and I'll show you the worst first, and we'll get progressively better and better. Okay, so what did my other one in was the a pillar on the passenger side. Sure enough, this one's gone as well. This one's had some ghetto repair fix done to it, which is holding up just fine for right now, but unfortunately it will need to be addressed. But truth be told, I'm not gonna touch it. It, it works fine right now. The door open and closes just fine. I'm not gonna touch it. Um, when I get to that factor, that stage is gonna try to be a quick job. Just replace the one panel itself because everything around it is somewhat okay. But this is not gonna be a seven month project when we tackle it. Again, rust everywhere, so it's to be expected. This is the original rocker. It's got a little bit of a hole there, no big deal, but you can stand on it and it's just fine. Uh, this is the passenger side, it has some weird rust. So the corner section of this here is kind of all gone. Um, and then where it's uncut, it started to unfortunately get a little bit holy, but we're gonna fix this. We're gonna try to cut it right above in the green section. Uh, stitch weld in a new piece and then kind of patina faux it back together. This here is supposed to be vinyl from the factory. When you look really, really close, you can see it's paint marks. Someone's painted the white back in, which actually I'm happy about because it means it'll be so much easier to match. But again, this will never be perfect as far as this body goes and I'm fine with it. And we're just gonna make it look cool and operate and drive. This will be a mechanical restoration, but a body restoration will just be to make it structural and not get any worse. Uh, the doors themselves are okay. The bottom of them are actually there, but this one's got the small hole right here. Again, we'll patch it, call it a day. Uh, this is the passenger fender. It's actually pretty solid. Obviously it's got some surface rust down here, but don't plan on touching this anytime soon. Um, weirdly enough, the wheel wells are okay. This has got a small hole right there. Uh, that's patchable. Like all Broncos, they rot out completely down here, and this one's no exception. The firewall section's actually okay, except for the driver's side, it's pretty bad. But driver wheel well's perfect. Same deal here, they all go bad right here, and it's gone. And this is the worst of it, but now that I know what I'm looking at, I'm not too scared. Big old hole right here. Um, we'll fix that later, but I don't plan on driving this in the rain a whole lot at, the, at this stage in the game, so not too concerned. Driver's side focus on rust. Again, driver's side fin is actually okay. It's got some dents, but that builds character. The door has a little bit, same thing on the other one. We'll, again, we'll patch it. This is a new rocker, just sheet metal screwed in for the time being. We'll have to address that. This rear cord is actually okay near the wheel well, ironically. 
and it has some crumbling right here. This is probably the worst cosmetic rust on this, in my opinion. This will probably be one of the first things we tackle other than the mechanicals. Um, I was looking at this earlier. We're probably gonna have to slice it right here and right here. And I'm gonna just kind of stitch it and make it look like it grows in the first place, but not wholly, if that makes any sense. Um, there is some rust here, but the main part of the seal where, the, where these two align together is actually okay, but we'll go in from the backside and blast it if I can and put some paint down to stop any further rusting of this. Driver side. See the door? A little bit of a hole right there, but underneath, actually pretty solid. The A pillar on this side is original. It's not terrible. There's a little bit of stuff gone underneath this rocker, but where the um, hinges bolt up, pretty solid. The B pillar, however, is the worst on the side. It is gone, completely gone, but I'm not too worried about that because there's enough solid inner fender right here to attach to. Again, we'll kind of graft it up in here and then we'll just paint it. I'm not too worried about painting the inside because you don't have to make the patina match too much. It'll be easier to match. Um, that's the bulk of it. I'll show you the frame and what we need to touch on the frame. Oh, I did forget one thing. So it's got some rust right at the door frames. Uh, someone's booger welded this in the past. The passenger side's being booger welded, but it fixed it. This side did not fix it. So that will be one of our main projects. Probably one of the first projects because I'd like to not have that wobble and fall off. So the frame is pretty much rust free, except for two sections in the back frame horns, which is kind of a bummer, but thankfully they sell patches for like 80 bucks that we'll be able to fix this. I don't know if I'm gonna weld it myself, but I'll do all the prep work myself. So worst case, we'll take the tank out prep it, cut it, put it in place, maybe put a tack weld on it and then call someone with a bigger welder or have a buddy come over, but let me show you. Okay, so this, this has a new exhaust, a new tank, great. And the frame's just pretty caked on dirt like the other one, but uh, I put a screwdriver everywhere. It feels very solid. It just needs to be scrubbed up. But unfortunately, got a hole right here at the back, which my other one did not. So this is new territory for me. Thankfully, unthankfully, because of that hole, you can look in, it's very solid everywhere except for right there, which looks like something's just sat there for a while. On the driver's side, sorry, the passenger side, it is just starting to happen, so I'll just go ahead and do both sides. Again, everywhere else that I've seen on this frame is very, very solid, just those back sections, which we'll be able to fix up no problem. Rest of it, not terrible. So I don't know much of babbling, and you've just seen a bunch of filming in this garage. That's where the tables are gonna turn for this Bronco. We're actually gonna drive it, we're gonna take it on adventures and have fun with it. So enough said, let's get this thing out of the garage and on the road and I'll show you how it operates. All right, okay. So haven't started this in a day or two. Let's see if she starts up. Put the cool keys here. All right, lights on. Give a couple whacks to the gas pedal. on our first try. Uh, the carburetor ran really good in this thing. All right, so we'll let this thing warm up a little bit. I'm just gonna go around the neighborhood because supper is on the table and I gotta get back to that. So let's uh, give a quick spin around the neighborhood in this thing. The other Bronco, I literally did one lap around the neighborhood when I first got it for y'all on video, and it was petrifying. It was like white knuckling it. This one actually has decent bushings in it and a refresh suspension. It feels tight. It doesn't feel like incredibly inspiring, confidence inspiring, but it, it drives good. Like tagging gears, no big deal. This thing, I feel, will be very good to drive around. I, I've got videos from the previous owner taking it out, going 45, 50 miles an hour, no problem. Man, again, like, I wanna get some seat time in a Bronco before I sit, spend like hundreds of hours fixing it up. That's just me. I've always kind of done found projects to work on, but I'm looking forward to fixing this up and enjoying it in the meantime. 
This hard top I don't think's ever been off. Uh, I want to take it off so I can get a roll cage in the back, just so it's a little bit safer. But I'm kind of scared to take the top off, but we'll figure it out. It should be fine. And this thing drives great. Obviously, manual brakes and drum brakes are not super crazy good, but better than most. Signals work. Good to go. He darts a little bit across the road. What's no big deal. Give it some beat. Man, this drives great. I don't know what horsepower or torque this 351 makes, but it's got plenty of low end torque to just scoot around. So doing 15 miles an hour, giving them gas. Oh man, we just went from 15 to 30 very quickly. I'm very impressed. I cannot wait to take this on the open road. A goal of mine, spoiler alert, is to drive this to Super Celebration next year in the, in the April. So we got a decent amount of time to get some work done to this, make it ours, make it even better. But man, I am stoked that we have a running driving Bronco in the color that I wanted it in the first place, a green one, with the exact engine trans combo I wanted. Um, sure, it's got some work, but who doesn't have work work needed on it? get over that. I think it runs really good. I'll line it up to the uh, cardboard because this thing does leak and we'll get to that in another video. Man, this thing is so great. Final thoughts. One, I'm incredibly grateful to have this garage, have you guys watching, and have two Broncos in the garage at this current time. And I'm very thankful that I found this one. It's kind of re it's re sparked a fun factor that I was missing for a little bit. That being said, this Bronco is for sale. If you're looking to build a very nice Bronco and have a really good foundation for one, this is it. The only reason I'm not pursuing this is because I like the time in, in my current life and stage of life, and that's okay. There are plenty of other people I think that would really enjoy this Bronco. There's nothing to hide on this Bronco because it's been sandblasted, so that's a plus. If you're interested, I'll drop a link in the description of the classifieds listing for this on Facebook. I'm going to ask 16.5 for this Bronco in its current condition, which I think is pretty fair considering how solid the A and B pillars are and how much extra metal is coming with this. So I've got the hood, I've got the inner fenders, I've got all the bolts and everything that came with this and when I took it apart, the tailgate, you name it. The spare windshield, ton of stuff, check out the listing, but sad to see it go, but really excited for this Bronco to get started and have memories with my family and you guys. So if you like Bronco content, Subscribe because there'll be more consistent content from this one more so than this one ever gave me in two years I've only put out a bunch of videos showing how bad the rust was which kind of sucks this thing We got a ton of metal work body work engine work You name it bunch of work making custom adventures taking it cool places really excited for it And I've also got some other stuff over there some other projects that we need to get to more as well But thanks a lot for watching if you guys haven't been to the doctor in the past year go because it could save your life save mine That's all I got catch you guys later. Peace out